כן? What's going on Colossus Army? It's Kyle here, Josh is behind the camera. So one of the biggest questions we get asked and one of the most controversial topics in fitness is, is the dumbbell pullover for your lats or for your chest? And there's a lot of different factors that can affect the way you perform the exercise and which muscles you actually hit. So let's get into it. Time to fire up your chest. Being a little bit stupid, but that's okay because now we're about to get intelligent. I'm gonna show you the difference of how to make this a chest exercise. So I struggled with this a lot on earlier. I never understood how or why. And I watched a video that really helped me was Cali Muscle was showing Jeff Syed, weird enough, the weirdest group of people, how to do this properly for your chest. And I really learned a lot. So I'm just gonna add in some points I got from that. Another great point I got from Phil Heath that I heard of was um, you never want to contract your chest down because it's going to push it forward and you're going to take away from working a lot of your chest. So if you're really flaring up, it'll allow you to really stretch your chest throughout. You can just try that out. Um, it makes a lot of sense. It sounds super heavy, but it's not. So that's one great tip. And the second tip is it's all in the squeeze. So we're just going to get into it. I'm going to talk while I do it. So you're here, you're up. And the difference is when you're starring like this, you always want to squeeze in. If you squeeze out, this is going to take away from your chest. So right away when I push in, my chest is gonna be ultra engaged. So I'm pushing in nice and tight, and from pushing in here, you're gonna go back. And with this one, you're only gonna go back as far as your chest is contracted, which is here. Heads back, if I go any further, you can see my lats. So here I'm, is as far as I go. Now, if I go to here, gravity is taking all of the weight off of my chest. So instead, you wanna come back, full contraction of the chest, full up, and now you can see it's fully contracted upwards, so you can see it's balling up. Stretching it out and then stopping just before gravity takes over to contract it up, head back, and that's all you're firing up. And that's how you hit your chest. Assuming you know how to do this, if you don't, I'm sure our boy Scott Herman has a video. We'll link it over to Kyle to show you for the last. All right, guys, so in one of our latest back videos, we mentioned how we are going to do a separate video on this exercise. Is it for your lats or for your chest? So here it is. So mind muscle connection is going to be huge. We're gonna link down a video that Josh made on this topic down in the description below. Yeah, and now we're gonna fire up the lats. So, for this, you wanna perform this exercise at the beginning of your workout. Whereas chest, you do the exercise at the end of the workout so that you can use less weight and put less stress on the shoulders. So you wanna flare your elbows a, a bit more than usual. You wanna go down far enough so that you feel the stretch in your lats and you want to go up so that you still feel the contraction. Down. Oh, those lats, they're feeling it. You don't want to go too heavy so that your shoulder just start to give out. Because mobi shoulder mobility is very huge on this exercise. If you have poor shoulders, you may want to stray away from it or at least ensure that you're doing enough shoulder mobility uh, exercises before doing this. And that's how you do it. So you guys can probably see, I may not be wearing the correct shirt, but my lats are super fired up on that exercise. I felt no tension in the chest because of the way I performed it. So thank you for checking in. We'll see you guys in the next video. What is up Colossus Army? Josh and Kyle were a little bit close, switching with their angles. We realized we probably film a little bit too far away when we're trying to talk to y'all. So hopefully you guys can enjoy our faces for a bit. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna be have to. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about logging when going out. 